from protecting Jacob's estuary to providing education on organic living. The South Coast Environment Centre has been a hub for environmentalists for 20 years. 15 of those have been in the same building, which will now become its permanent location. Hi, I'm Ruby Spink in Riverton, outside the South Coast Environment Centre, which has met their fundraising target to buy the building. We are very thrilled at how generous people have been, and so we've had over 300 uh, uh, pledges and donations from all over the world and all over New Zealand. And so we're up to $60,000 now. So it's pretty exciting, we've got 13,000 to go. The donations coming from over 20 countries will provide the bond for purchasing the building, with the final 13,000 needing to be paid by the end of March. Guyton's planning activities to collect the last part of the payment. So we're going to have uh, two or three little events, um, like a film evening, and we're going to have a clothing swap day. And we've got 500 little boxes, 100 little boxes, sorry, I'm going to sell them for $5 each and put a, um, like a mystery envelope and have a mystery box. That'd be quite fun. Uh, and uh, we have a harvest festival at the end of the month, so we'll do some special things there to fundraise at that. The centre gets 50 to 100 visitors per day. Many of them are tourists from around the world. Guyton says there's been lots of supportive comments online left by people who'd visited on their way down the Southern Scenic Route. I love it to get so many nice comments from people around New Zealand, around the world, saying they were there you know, 10 years ago and they wanted to make sure we're there for the future, so it's lovely. Once the payment's gone through, the team of volunteers at the Environment Centre will get back to work on the upgrades they're planning for the building, including a mezzanine reading level overlooking the estuary and sheds out back for the seed saving group. I'm Ruby Spink for The South Today.